I'm getting ready to build some more projects, so I need more parts. I'm gonna start with this one because, based on the shape of it, I think I know what it is. And I've been waiting for this because it's a metal soldering iron stand. Sounds metal. It does not include a sponge for the tray here, but that's okay. I've got some older irons like this Weller WP-30 from long, long ago. And I really don't have a good stand, so whether I use it for this or even the regular stuff that I use, that should all be fine. So it's heavy enough that it's not going to fall over like some other stupid ones I've had. And it looks like we can store some tips in here for certain kinds of irons if we need to. Or even just things like this clean-out rod for the desoldering gun of uh, this one. It says washers. It doesn't feel very heavy, so I think I ordered some plastic stuff. Oh, a good luck card. Yeah, it says rubber washer up here, but I thought they'd be some sort of nylon plastic. They are rubber. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't remember ordering this. It was probably over a year ago. There could be any number of reasons I wanted this, even just to use them as standoffs or spacers when assembling things and I need to build up some sort of height so that one board doesn't touch another board or something like that. Well, whatever I did order them for, now I've got them. If the label is true, this should be switches. Looks like switches and colorful caps for those buttons. So these are little push on, push off. They're not momentary. Six pins, so I assume double pull, double throw. So I could maybe use them as power buttons. And these are not breadboard friendly 0.1 inch pitch. So these would be put to use in some sort of a PCB design. I don't have anything immediately in mind, but switches like this are just good things to stock when you have all kinds of part storage trays to keep them out of sight and together until you need them. Something I do need near term for projects 7400 series logic chips, and that's what's supposed to be in these two packages. They are conveniently labeled here, so 74LS245, 74LS04, and 74LS32, 74LS573. So these are just various TTL logic gates and latches or other transceivers, and those are for this upcoming PCB, which I did not design, but this is from 2017 from the Glitchworks. It's an XTIDE 8-bit controller card. So all of these discrete chips here, a hard drive connector on the side, uses chips like this, and hopefully I can get a hard drive or maybe an SD card or a compact flash card working in an old 286 that I've been trying to get up and running. And since I had good luck with this floppy controller card, I thought might as well try making my own hard drive controller too, because that 286 does not have any onboard controllers. And that brings us to this package. Slightly squished but appears to be intact. Now, what's the point of this? They have it set so that you can tear this to open, but then it's sealed right here anyway. This is an SD card to 
40 pin IDE hard drive interface. So if I get this card working and it has its 40 pin hard drive connector here and I plug in a cable, instead of going to a hard drive I can plug it into here, put an SD card in here, power this card here either from a floppy or a hard drive power cable inside the computer and if this works properly I'm hoping I can at least access this SD card as a regular hard drive if not boot from it but I know sometimes there's problems booting from memory cards in this sort of application as long as I can use it for storage I can boot from a floppy and just continue getting the 286 up and running. So again some practical stuff as always with the soldering iron holder, some rubber washers I can use for spacers, some push buttons with colorful caps on them, and parts along with this adapter to build a hard drive controller interface for the 286. I'm going to be building this card soon, putting these parts to use, so Stay tuned for that, and as always, special thanks to Patreon and channel supporters for helping make all this possible.